Hi people, welcome to BTM Africa. My name is NY DJ. It's another beautiful time to bring you an amazing personality. Oh, you know that I love to use the word amazing and that's because everyone we put on this channel is an amazing personality, has something that you will love to listen to and will share a story that will go a long way to actually affect you. So welcome to BTM Africa and let's get it started. I work every day. I work every day. I want to party. So don't be lazy, tell you must be happy. All right, so my guest with me today is actually the reigning VGMA artist of the year. He has a number of records that have not been beaten yet. For the very first time in the history of the VGMAs, he's made it four-time winner of the High Life Artist of the Year category. Something that's not been made before, and he makes that record even as a young person in this particular industry. I'm going to find out from him how he feels about that and whether he intends rolling on with that same category or his time of that particular category. He's one person people say or can I drink as well. We we'll talk all about that. He signed to Lynx Entertainment, a record label I hold some shares in actually. You know, I'll be talking about that on the side as well. Kwame Ejin is my guest on BTM Africa. Kwame. Bro. Charlie, how far? Everything cool. Voice nice no, no, voice no, voice not the cassette. Voice not here. Voice no. I am intact. <laughs> As a boy, say you Charlie. Oh, nice. Kaka, kaka, how you go do up? How you go do up? But I hope everything is okay with you. All is well, bro. Mm. All is well. Nice one. I mean, in my introduction, I talked about the fact that you are the reigning VGMA artist of the year. Mm -hmm. Again, you set a record. Nobody has done that before in the annals of the VGMA. Four times, high life artist of the year. How do you feel about that, and how do you even do that? Um, first, I mean, speaking of how I feel about it, I think I feel, I feel honored. Mm. I feel honored. I don't, I don't feel pressured at all. Sometimes people think I feel pressured about it. I don't feel pressured at all. Like, I, I, I'm grateful for it and I feel mm. honored and I think if there is room to do more, I will always do more. Mm. Yeah. So you still aim for the category in the coming hours yeah, as well? Yeah. I love her life music. It's part and parcel of me, like I see all the time. So letting go it will be very difficult mm. yes unless i can't do this anymore so until you say i'm done that category there um, i mean i'll still be I'll maybe still they should be naming that. that category after you the other, people, <laughs> the other people i mean and you know, the other people so mm. i feel um i mean we, we're, we're all working yeah so if my work has been able to rec uh, be recognized to that level I'm just super excited about it, but I think there are lots of people doing that, so they can't just name it up to me. It's mm. not, it's not mine. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. At your very young age, and you've made all these, I mean, records, things that blow the mind. Does it come to you as a surprise that I mean you're able to make this record? Because I mean, people have said it before you. There were others. Yeah. But even in this young career or young age of yours, you've done it back to back to back to back. Are you know? I mean, how do you do it? I think um, how I do it, it's just I'll just center it on the fact that I love what I do mm. and I don't play with my work. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm that person. I'm from that family that takes work serious. Mm. Once this is what feeds me, I give it my all. Okay. And I love what I do. I love music. Mm. Even if I wasn't getting paid for this thing, I would have still done it. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll do it. I'll do it to the max mm. if I wasn't getting paid for it. So it's like being what you love, but then again, they give you money to do what you love. Mm. You know, I, I keep saying, yeah, I give glory to God for being a musician in the first place. I love what I do. I enjoy what I do. And I'm, I'm getting paid from what I do. And I'm getting accolades from what I do. So this, this is a perfect life for me. Do you think you are, you, are, you are appreciated or you are celebrated enough for some of these feats? When I talk about some of these feats, let's look at um, this, this collaboration he had with an Nigerian artist, that's CK. Love yeah, one thing. It's became it's become a very big song. So it's it. gone on the billboard charts and doing all those numbers. Um one, I think if I need to be celebrated, it shouldn't be people from um outside my territory. Mm -hmm. Do you get it? It's just it's a CK feature. I mean, he goes to an interview, they they, they ask him about the song, he talks about me. Mm -hmm. Oh, Kwame is part of the song. I think he's done enough. That's all he can do. Mm -hmm. If there is someone to, I mean, sound a trumpet about it, it should be my own people. They should make maximum noise about it because mm. 
this should it, it should be like yeah yes yeah, 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 this this what this ours and it, he's been able to be a part of a successful song like this mm. so i don't expect people from the other side to give me those accolades i expect my people to remind them that we also have mm. i mean our our, our our rock star on, yeah, this, on, on this song but then again where i come from i think I, i'm i'm not the first person who is is enjoying what i'm enjoying and not enjoying certain things i'm supposed to enjoy mm. so I, I mean i let it go as it is but don't you think th there's the need for you to also trumpet it i mean let people know that listen yo because i remember the last time somebody was talking about samini saying that he brought all these artists out and i'm like listen we find ourselves in a space where if we don't blow your old trumpet yeah nobody will blow it for you so Thank don't you, you think so it's, it's unfortunately here yeah, if you don't blow your own trumpet nobody blows it for you but then again, if you blow your own trumpet, they make it. They, they, they make it. They make it seem like. Why? Why do you want to remind us that you deserve it? it so, <laughs> so long as you want to remind us, it means you don't really deserve it. Mm. That that is where we come from. It's like, the very moment you want to talk about what you've been able to do, you are arrogant. Mm. Yeah, you see, people say that oh, he's been able to hold this thing, four years, champion this highlight four years thing. You know, the first time I didn't even say it. Somebody said. Kwame Eugene right now feels, I feel he's the high life king. I got attacked for it. Wow. Yeah, I got attacked for it. People said all sorts of things against me. People even lied on Amachi Dede mm. that he was paid to do that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, that is how far people can go to just to make, to, to downgrade you, mm. to mm. make you feel like you're nothing. So, I mean, you let it be how it is. You stay in your corner. And if, if God willing, people like you use their platform to champion you, you give glory to God. But you don't have to create a platform for yourself where you want to champion yourself. It's not like that here. Mm. Mm. Yeah, he, people don't like it that way. They, they don't want you to remind them that you are doing good. Mm. They get so mad about it. You get it? And yeah. even the good you are doing, they won't say it, they will come and fight it in addition. So how much more you come there to, to come around to remind them that you've done this good? You give them more room to come fight you because when you're almost a crowd, they want to attack you. Mm. How much more you remind them that? That reminds me of the song. Ben Fue. Aye, aye, aye. Ben Yen, I know. So, do you get what I mean? As yeah. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not that person that comes out to explain myself mm. how big I am and mm. how good I'm doing. Because I'm getting attacks for it. Yeah. 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 And, you know. But how does that make you up. feel, though? I mean, when you know that you are one of the most, most critiqued artists, like, I'm not for so, can I drain the do so? You know, the least thing people want to come at you and all that. Does that in any way limit your creativity? Does that make you want to stay back and stay in your shell at times? So, I mean, some time ago, we, we were there sitting there like industry people and somebody raised and an, um, somebody raised uh, um, a topic. And I was like, mm -hmm. you remember those days where these songs were dominating everywhere that Ghana, you just, we, don't, we didn't have space for our own music. Yeah. And there, w there were no young boys like, you people mm -hmm. doing the game was this adults and yeah even though some boys started before you came but it wasn't as big as when you released angela and angela opened the door for all the young boys yeah. this person came along this person came along and from angela it's been young, more young people and more young people but nobody will stand somewhere and say that kwami actually paved the way for younger people to enter this industry because it wasn't young but when i started this thing I had Angela at a very young age, mm -hmm. small boy. Yeah. And my song was, was being played all over Africa on, I mean, big platforms in the world and all. Yeah. And I dare not come talk about it. Hey, you know, up everywhere, my young boys, no more. Do mm -hmm. you get like, mm -hmm. I'll get attacked. I'll get attacked. So I will stay in my corner and hope that one day, one day, people will sit somewhere and talk about it. When, when, when they meet me, they remind me of these things. Mm. But it's just love ones. Yeah, do you yeah. get it? I, 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 I'm just, I'm just calm about these things. Mm. They are accolades. What I think it's important is for me to keep up the good work. Yeah. So that I can have the name like Daddy Lumba. That 30, 35 years later, mm. I'll still host a concert and still make my money. I'll feel like okay, the best my boy hit song. You only remember you know. But if I want to do it, you I do come it. back and I do it. Mm. That is what I'm praying for. Mm. I'm not praying for, I mean, a platform to come and fight. How I've been able, I, I see more big artists, more, I mean, maybe old folks yeah. sit on re TV station and make me feel like I am a semi ABBM, I've not done anything. Mm. Oh, yeah, I've, I mean, I've, I, when we are done with this interview, I'll show you a couple of videos. 
they've sent a lot to me. This music, oh, another kwa music, I mean, I don't know the pleasure people take in letting people know that I've not done anything. Hmm. And I'm not even saying I've done anything. <laughs> like, quite an interesting industry. Yeah, I've, 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 I've not forced anybody to realize that I've done anything. But don't fight me that I haven't done anything. I mean, some I will say count. Well, I mean, these it's, are conversations like yeah, yeah. We, so, so we'll, we'll, we'll talk I keep about calm it. and just watch people express themselves. Yeah. Why always me? That's why I said am I the only one on the dance floor? Because yeah. it looks like when everybody wants to fight, it's you. They will look for me. I mean, if you are the top, you'll be the one everybody will look at. It's so it's all good. I mean, mm. I'm calm now. I decided not to fight too much about these things anymore. Yeah. So now, what's the sir? Oh, you are repentant. So this February I'll be 25. You know. Many, I'm half 30. How do I? What's why I'm 25. I'm half 30. I'm almost 30. It is a when you need to wear that. Nah, I'm a guy. I'm a guy. Cause I be bringing me church, me home money. Like I mean, yeah. However you want to see it, from your side, have fun with it. A friend told me that I said, Charlie. Who be saying me say, hey, N Y N S Y S M S N D O T B N Y N O. N O P N Y N O. Interesting. Let's get back to the music. I mean, that's what you are well known for. Yeah. And you, you have been on with the High Life, High Life. We dropped an EP recently. That's the Afro, Afro High, Life. High Life EP. I mean, you have a wild collection on there. There's a conversation that always comes up when Kwame Eugene drops a material. And they say, oh, Kwame Eugene has sample way. Sampling is never bad. I mean, it's part of music and all that. All these things, when it keeps coming up, and almost every time it keeps coming up, does that stifle your creativity? When Obert show be beer, do you think of, hey, I'm out for the cast end of my essay? Never, never. It has never even crossed, like, never, never crossed my mind on what people say. Mm. I, haven't you realized who's who cry me anymore? <laughs> now, haven't you realized this thing? That it looks like when you talk about this thing, the next one, you, you won't hear anything, but the next one is what I will, I will put something in there mm. for you to hear and grab so mad about it. Like, yeah. I remember when I was doing. Um, um, the verse for Sister Fia. Mm -hmm. So I did a whole verse. Um, 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 Nobody say your boy be lazy. You many hunting. I say my crazy. What you are about train? I would hear Jazzy. A bear then I hear Bedisi Kaby. Yamopa no send me dim with Yakoto. Minami soon put new doctor Pabu. To somebody I sampled, but no, it's a reference. They don't yeah. understand. Mm. So I'm saying, you say, Unyami Sumponye was actually written by Dr. Oh, Pablo. So that was laying reference yes, to him. Yes, it's a reference. One, two, three. But it was a review. So you can't explain yourself to everyone. Mm. And sometimes people don't understand music. Or your doctor, and only music shit. So when he's so mad about somebody's music, I don't get him. Mm. We, don't, we don't complain about your prescriptions. What you say? I'm not a doctor. Mm. And you know, I don't expect him to understand everything. Just unfortunately, people are so opinionated that they want to yeah. share their mind about everything, even if they don't have anything to share. But I've seen I've seen a beautician sitting on a music show being a pundit before. She's a beautician. Like she talks Maybe about she has an idea about music. About, no, no, no. I mean, please. I, she, she's popular, she's known on, oh, this product makes your skin, this product. Then they'll ask her, say, so what do you think about this song? What are you talking about? It's like going to ask a doctor to cook a beat for you. A doctor could also still have the skill in, in playing a beat, so. Thank you so much. But where is he champion? He's champion mm -hmm. in being a doctor. Mm -hmm. and he can't compare himself to Willis Beat. Yeah, of Thank course. Thank you so much. He's a doctor. The fact that you can share an idea doesn't mean... Mm, mm. That is the perfect idea about that thing. Everybody can say, oh, we'll start a hotel business, they're very nice. Man, you can start a hotel business. <laughs> you would understand the reality. Thank you. Do, do you get what I mean? Mm, so if you, mm. if you want to allow everybody to share their ideas, trust me, the regular Ghanaian will have ideas about anything. Everything, yeah. That's true. Do you get That's it? True. So you can base on the fact that, oh, this person can have an idea about this thing, but not be in this field. Mm. If you want to talk about that, then we are all musicians. Then we are all doctors. Because trust me, when you are sick, ideas your, moms can, your mom can give you a drug that you feel okay. Mm. Maybe for now you'll be okay. Yeah. But because she's, she's not a doctor, it's just for now. Yeah. They will come back. Mm. You need a doctor's prescription. Yeah. That is what people don't understand. So sometimes you can't explain yourself so much about it. You just let people have fun. And like you said, you are turning 25. So I mean... Yeah, I mean, I'm half 30 now. So I, I can't be fighting over everything. 
Then when you get to 40, they are forget. You won't even talk. When I get to 40, try, when I get to 40, remind me, see, <laughs> put this footage down. When <laughs> I get to 40, seeing me will be very difficult. Yeah. Oh, no, when I get to 40, I can stop this thing I'm doing. I do you think I'm working so hard to mm. save? So that by 40, perhaps you've retired. But by 40, you can't tell me what to do anymore. Yeah. By 40, if I like, I'll play the show. If I don't like, I won't play it. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Me. Me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like something. Tell me. I came to this world alone. I'll live alone. It's mm. just like every single individual. So the fact that I'm giving you opportunity to have so much to say about my life is because this is the job I'm doing. What if I quit this job? What else do you have to say about me? Do you get it? Mm. I'm doing this job because you purchased my music. That's why I love it. You have a say because you listen to my music. You mm. have a say. There will be a time you won't have a say anymore because I'll be like Daddy Lumba. I won't sing the song again unless I feel like doing it. So how much, how, how, how much can you say about Daddy Lumba right now? He doesn't owe you any promotion. <laughs> Don't play his music. He doesn't care. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? Yeah. And everybody's time will come. I'm just working so hard. God should open more doors for me. Amen. When I get to the level where I think I've had enough, I won't do it again for you to come and tell me that I feel so free. I say, but I'm not being unfair. Unu shika. Unu shika. I'm a colorblind. Carmen, let's get let's get to. I mean, this is a very interesting conversation. But let's get yeah. to the Afro High Life EP. EP. Yeah. I mean, what 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 birthed this particular EP? Was it for you to establish and say, listen, I've won this back to back to back four times. Now you're saying Afro High Life. Is it a switch up or what is it about it? It's actually a fusion of Afro beats and High Life music because, yeah. I mean, there's a trend going on at the moment where um, uh, um, Afro beats is what the majority of mm. we Africans are listening yeah. to. Yeah. The world has life, been listening to it now. Thank you so much. High Life is mainly for Ghana. Yeah. But Afrobeat have been able to champion our, across the world. Like Love One Tintin is an Afrobeat yeah. tune. Yeah. And it's everywhere. And I have my voice on it. Mm. So being able to do Afrobeat to that extent, I feel, you know what, I need the international market as well. Mm. Even though I'm being good, like Open Gate and songs yeah. like Banker are doing yeah. well internationally, I feel I can do more. But then again, I don't want to go and leave the high life music behind because that's what I'm known for. Mm. And that's what I actually love. Mm. So. I decided, you know what, well, why don't I have a fusion of the Afrobeat and High Life music? So that I target are longer wherever I go. Okay. So when you listen to that EP, it has a fusion of Afrobeat mm. and you still have High Life in there. You yeah. see that one quiet in the few, Yeah, I mean, it's proper High Life. But then again, for yeah. uh -huh. but then again it has songs like Fire Fire. That is proper Afrobeat. So, mm. it's, it's, you, you love the EP. It's a fusion of Afrobeat and her life. So, that calls for the name. And how, how is it life. doing so far? So good. Mm. I performed in a few yesterday here. They were requesting, I didn't want to perform it. Mm. They were requesting it, and it's everywhere. Banga is one of the biggest songs yeah, at the moment, and it's on the EP. Mm. So, Fire Fire is doing very good. Yeah. Demi God is doing good on the streaming market. So, it's been a very good EP. It's like, like I'll say, the biggest EP at the moment in mm. the country right now. Mm. So. I'm, 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 I'm very grateful and I, I, I thank Ghanaian so much for supporting you once another Kwame Eugene project. You were in the UK recently and we saw you... My listening. Uh, yes, and then we saw you again in, in some recording, I mean, how should I put it, some record labels and yeah, all yeah, that. Yeah, with, with Virgin. Exactly, now there are yeah. conversations on the Twitter streets yeah, 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 and all yeah, that. Yeah, big ones. Big Kwame ones. is, is I mean, signing on to, for an international platform and all that. How, how true is that? I've been on I've been on international platforms for a very long time. We're just amplifying the conversation. Okay. Yeah, we we're just amplifying the conversation. I mean, taking it from another level to another level because mm. I mean, 2022 is going to be a new year, and so 2022 is going to be a big year and mm. more international collaborations and more international. I mean, big big joints like you saw on social media. Mm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you've you've actually kicked some in the in the studio already. Oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. They already oh, said. Trust me, I have some sweet songs coming next year. Mm. Very sweet songs coming next year. You so. care to share some of them? I mean, some of the collaborations. You know, um, there's a home. I mean, I can actually send that malware into the link studios know, and then I get know, you dear, you dear, you have your ways. <laughs> you have your so let, let's, not, let's, let's not surprise them. So. I mean, let's not build too much anticipation for them. It should mm. come as a surprise. Okay. Okay. So 2022 is going to be very that big, big year. That very year, Kwame Eugen turns 25 and then... Half yes, close half. to I mean, I'm 30. Half 30. That year, he feels like he's a big man now. 
Interesting, but let's. I mean, as we looked at the foreign record labels and all that, like you said, you've been working with them, just amplifying them and all that. How is it back home? Lynx has been home for you since the scratch. Yeah. I mean, have you ever thought of Charlie? Maybe one time I tell Richie, Richie, Jack, Charlie, my brain, me You know what? I mean, there's, a, there's time for everything. Mm. There will be time where either me or Richie will say, oh, Charlie. I think we've worked enough. You're a big boy now. Did you get it? I mean, that, that level of maturity is there between us. Mm -hmm. So we'll get there. But I just can't tell when it is. I'm not thinking it's any time soon. Mm -hmm. Because there's a good relationship going on. Yeah. And I'm still not... I mean, somebody we have, I've been having... You see, Adia, what, you're a big boy. You bet me at home, you can stay. I'm sure you hear those, you oh, hear all those the time, conversations. All the time. Yeah. But then again, I can't be ruled by relics. Like, by what people say, but... What has been done in the past, I don't want to follow anybody's footsteps. I'm mm. Kwame Eugene, I follow my own footsteps. Mm. So the fact that somebody left the label doesn't mean I should be in a hurry to leave my label too. Mm. Mm. I, I, I have plans and my plans is to be patient. Okay. It's patient. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, it's all about me. Patience is a part of me. Yeah. So I want to take my time and when the time comes, we'll do it. I mean, me me kwa wo mwari wo lengs. But let's 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 calm down mm. and work first. It's very important. You so, get talking it? about unyining wearing war links and all that. I mean, you've considered that yet? I'm sure. So by now, money how? Uh, there, there's a song that says money how me do do money how me do do and all that. I'm sure by now. If uh, can I even check your DM and perhaps show you to the camera? Did you want to show it? Your DM? Yeah. Seriously? No, I'm good. If, if are you sure you're not going to cause any confusion now? That what I should ask is, are you sure you, you, you can read the DMs? <laughs> no. Kwame, you can't. You can't. Hey! You can't. You can't. I have, I have, I can't count my DMs. So, if you want to count them, <laughs> find some chair and some music and food. <laughs> Because you yeah, take, yeah, you, I you take you like pop, a week. Some popcorn and then do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will take you like a week. So it's, it's the, the question is, can you count it? Mm. Yeah. But I mean, with all these, I mean, there are fans who show you love. There are people who genuinely want to let you know that they appreciate you. There are others who also perhaps are also trying to shoot their shots and all that. How, how do you cope with that? And talking about that, do you have your plans? Are you, are you looking at Charlie? With all these around me, maybe it's time I settled or anything. Yeah, I've, I, I actually have plans. I mean, unsettling, but having a child, I mean, getting married and all those things, it's, it's part of my plans. But then again, I'm, I'm that person, I plan everything. Mm. I don't want everything in my life to be by a mistake. Okay. So having a child shouldn't be by a mistake. Mm. Getting married shouldn't be a mistake. Mm. I mean, because I wouldn't want to get married, go into the marriage, come out of the marriage, find somebody else, having mm. a child, go into another marriage. Mm. So mm. I plan everything. Do you get it? Yeah. If, if I have a child, it wouldn't be for, because of a mistake. It's because I you feel like, okay, ready now I want to have a child. Mm, mm. Do, 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 do you get what I mean? Yeah. So, it, if, if, and I have ways I've planned it. After you be able to achieve this, then I plan this, then mm, I do this, mm, then I do that. So I don't want anything to be by mistake, so I'm going by it. I think okay. that's what is keeping me in shape. Mm, mm. So, yeah, I, I don't do things that will be like, hey, where do you, man? I didn't yeah, see this coming. I didn't see this coming. Yeah, I don't want, I don't want to have that story. Mm. Guys, so you know who my guest is? That's Kwame Eugene signed on to Lynx Entertainment. I mean, we had a very fruitful conversation talking about his career, all the things he has coming up for the year 2022 and all that on BTM Africa. Please remember to subscribe, just leave your comments and remember to share as well. If, if there's something he said that interests you, just quote it. Quote any of his things down here. Let me know what actually excited you about this particular interview. But moving forward, um, You've talked about how 2022 is going to look like and all that. You can't to actually do any other songs. I mean, there's more like a free performance for us of the Afro High Life EP. Which one should it be? Should it be to the FA? I mean... Let me, let me do Fire Fire for fire, you. Okay, that's fine. Fire Fire for you. Mm. <coughs> I mean, I mean, the plenty shows. So my yeah, voice I know, I, mean, I know. My voice. It goes like this. <coughs> when we pull up, it's a bomb killer. We come through like John Cena. Anything they do, they do better. Hide your girls cause we don't give up. We know the fear, shell it. And we look fly, opete. Sweet vibes, yeah, yeah. Ballers, pellet. 
Me and the guys be there for one corner, oh corner, oh corner. Hi, your lover, oh lover, oh lover. From the fire, fire, oh fire. Eh, 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 eh. We got the guys and the girls in the corner. I saw the, I saw the girls in the corner. I, 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 we didn't come here to play. You, you making me want to do the Amar piano dance now? Hey, 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 hey. Why am I telling you? Fight your best, yo. I don't fight your best, but. Okay, that one I'll do it later because me trying to say me sour hair and me gummy hair anyway. Ah yeah. But then, but because I want your bad, sir. But we're bad. Oh, oh, you're actually bad. Oh, oh what, what you just did is no, it's not nice. Oh, don't do that again. On your own platform, don't. Mommy, <laughs> what <laughs> platform? Me no gummy anymore, sir. I'm just telling you. Okay, so on NY's platform, we are pleading <laughs> for me, my fans, your fans, your your viewers. Your listeners on radio, don't dance again. Oh, don't dance, don't move, walk. Yeah. <laughs> Kwame, Charlie, thank you very much for actually for making this me, one brother. of me, Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm so proud of you, and like you know, I keep saying I'm so proud of you all the time. Thank you, bro. Uh, I'm, I'm happy about the growth, and I hope to see more, especially with the plans we have. Thank and, you. I mean, we just pray for life and strength and that's yes, what we hope for. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate so this. That's beautiful. So guys, it's been BTM Africa. My name was again NY DJ Kwame Eji was my guest. Shouts to the production to, to Bellucci. Uh, yes, to Nana to two. I've been advising him. He wouldn't listen. And I'll keep saying it. The last time he actually went to show me the girlfriend finally because you know, Bellucci has been married for a number of years now. He was the only one on set who, or your quietus interruptus, but now he's decided to. You know that, right? Eh. Look at his lead on my face. Look at him. 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 Anyway, guys, so that's it on BTM Africa. Thank you for watching. Catch you some other time. <laughs>